Good Saturday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a quick check of your forecast and looking at some big changes heading into the Mid-South, at least where the temperatures are concerned. We're getting rid of the rainfall tonight and should be looking at some much colder weather heading our way into the rest of what is left of the holiday weekend, including for Martin Luther King Jr. Day coming up on Monday. Don't forget to download our News Channel 3 weather app. Make certain you stay in touch with what's going on around the Mid-South area where it comes of the forecast out there and of course we'll have updates tonight on news channel 3 at 10 and of course coming up tomorrow morning on news channel 3 daybreak as this arctic air makes its way into the mid-south so if you have not been outdoors in the last few hours temperatures are dropping pretty quickly we'll continue to do so into the rest of the evening and should be seeing again some pretty cold numbers into the next couple of days haven't tuned in here before welcome to the show drop your location and any weather reports you've got into the comments section and we'll read some of those off as we go throughout the rest of our netcast here. In just a few minutes, we'll take a specific look at what's going on for the holiday on Monday. Lots of volunteers out and about making it a day on for service instead of just another day off holiday. So if you're going to be doing any volunteer work out and about to clear up the Mid-South and make it a better place, it is going to be frigid out there. We'll take a look at that. Plus, rooting for the Titans or the Chiefs, either way, you've got the AFC Championship coming up tomorrow. And we'll take a look at that forecast in detail and a look at Arrowhead Stadium where it's also going to be quite on the chilly side as we go into the early parts of Sunday afternoon if you're looking forward to that. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in. Thanks a lot for dropping on by and again drop your location and any weather reports you've got into the comments section. would love to know where you're checking in from and what the temperature is or what the wind conditions are in and around the area. So thanks a lot for watching for tonight. Today's high temperatures well above normal. Again, back into the mid-60s. That is, again, way above where our normal should be for January. So a decently warm day out there. Low and high temperatures for the day. Just over an inch of rainfall, which brings us up to over three inches above normal for the year. So already starting off with a decent surplus in the Mid-South area. Downtown clear. We watched, again, planet Venus off toward the southwest horizon. And the International Space Station seen just a little while ago passing over parts of the Mid-South south the travel traffic situation out there by road dry roadways things are much better than what we saw early this morning traveling by air catching a late flight tonight no problems at all clear skies and good traveling conditions for now looking back toward memphis international airport on our 240 and airways camera showing again clear skies out there now the east coast around newark and new york city have been seeing some travel delays out there kansas city international was actually closed yesterday for a period of time thanks to that winter weather moving on through so if you're traveling northeast tonight you could be running into some delays out there so please keep that in mind uh, if you're going to be heading out the door for a late flight anything like that uh, 50 degrees neboville tennessee john david king well, thank you for that weather report I don't think i've ever been there before but thank you very much for that report there getting colder in selmer thank you very much for that one uh sherelle riley snow coming kind of sort of we'll talk about that potential coming up here in just a little bit 42 degrees, Nancy Bell in Dyersburg. Thank you very much for that weather report there. A little windy and cooler from Julia Eddings in Manila, Arkansas. Thank you very much for those weather reports out there. Latest storm system making its way toward the east coast and heading out of the area, causing a lot of problems for the Canadian Maritimes the lower corners of southeastern Canada and portions of the upper portion areas of New England catching over a foot of snow in some locations and some very low visibilities in parts of the upper New England area back into southern Canada. We are seeing mostly windy conditions here and some drier weather as the clouds begin to part by just a little bit so there's not that much left over in the way of clouds for now and on Storm Tracker 3S radar Clean sweeps across the entire Mid-South. Closest rainfall to us right now is well on down from parts of southern Texas all the way back up into the Appalachians and parts of the Ohio River Valley. And that's it for the rainfall, at least for the time being anyway, from what it looks like. Uh, Cassandra Wolf Wolfwick, hope I'm saying that right. Windy and cold in Cortland, Mississippi. Thank you very much for that one. Linda Patterson, Grand Junction, Tennessee. Windy and cool. 50 degrees in Bihalia, Tamara J. Smith. Thank you very much. 
Uh, thanks to everybody else for checking in across the Mid-South. Here's what it looks like on the temperatures for right now. And again, those winds are going to be breezy throughout the rest of the evening. So we've already got wind chills into the 30s. And with numbers like this, 20 miles per hour around Memphis International Airports, that could take our wind chills in the 20s to the teens as we go overnight, as we could see, again, some pretty uh, breezy conditions out there for the next couple of hours. So, again, could be seeing some problems out across the Mid-South. Apologies if the video is freezing. Apparently, we're having some trouble with the um, server here for some reason showing up for a bit of a problem. We'll try to make certain that's corrected here in just a little bit. But if the video stutters, just stay with us. We'll do our best to get the tinfoil added to the uh, receiver on the Wi-Fi connection out there, but apologies for that. Now, going into the next 24 hours, we will be looking at the potential for some pretty chilly weather overnight. And once again, looking for numbers by the time we hit about early tomorrow morning, heading off to church or Sunday school back in the lower 30s and those winds still out of the northwest. So we could be looking at some pretty cold numbers out there, including some wind chills again into overnight. So again, watch out for the potential for some fairly brisk conditions across the Mid-South uh, into tomorrow. Again, we're having problems with the server. Sorry about that. Uh, hopefully it won't be too much of a problem to get uh, loaded up here in just a little bit. Rest of the day tomorrow, again, temperatures will barely be in the 40s thanks to that cold air howling on down from parts of Canada. So continuing again to see the potential for uh, less in the way of warmer weather, but at least we'll get some sunshine across the Mid-South and also seeing again the possibility of some pretty mild conditions toward week's end, but not really getting a lot of anything involving warmer weather anytime soon as conditions are going to be quite chilly as we go into the course of the next couple of days uh, across the Mid-South area. All right, for tomorrow, here's what we're looking for. Again, not seeing very mild conditions out there with numbers going back into the lower 40s across much of the area. A little breezy out there as well, and also mainly clear skies across the Mid-South, so not doing too bad for the time being. It's Monday where the really big push of cold air arrives, and that's where we see the temperatures barely above freezing. So outdoor activities for the volunteers out across the Mid-South, Again, apologies, we're having some freezing of the video out there, but uh, hopefully the engineers can get that fixed uh, so we won't have that problem going on. Again, for Monday, looking a lot colder, but we'll be warming up on the temperatures now. Toward about Tuesday, we see a small potential of some snow showers out there. We'll talk about that in detail coming up in just a little bit. Mid to upper 30s for highs on Tuesday. Back to normal by Thursday with a return to some more showers. Just showers, no thunderstorms, no severe weather out there. So again, we could be seeing the potential for some uh, heavier amounts of rainfall here and there. But it does not look to be anything in the way of a severe weather situation. So again, definitely some good news on that. Rest of the forecast, again, toward next weekend and beyond. Temperatures back into the mid-50s or so. So we could see, again, the potential for some scattered showers across the Mid-South. But once again, we're seeing not too much to worry about in the way of thunderstorms or anything coming up in the way of numbers back into the freezing mark and no winter weather coming our direction, uh, at least for the time being out there for right now. So good news on that for the, what we can see for at this time. Now, again, anything that does change for the worse, keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Any possibility of thunderstorms at this time of the year need to be paid attention to highly as we are in the number one storm season around here. So please keep that in mind and we'll hopefully be bringing you more Skywarn spotter meetings uh, information coming up from the National Weather Service in the near future. So if you'd like to know more about what to do before severe, severe weather hits, stay tuned. We'll let you know about that coming up in just a little while. Minor storm system heading down the jet stream over the mid plain states. Now most of what we're going to be seeing is going to be back up to the north of us. The main energy of the storm system is going to be well to our north into and around parts of the upper Midwest, Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, and Nebraska could pick up the bulk of anything involving snowfall. That being said, again, for right now, what we are going to be seeing by Monday evening is a possibility of snow showers back to the north and west of us moving into the Mid-South as we head toward very early Tuesday morning right across the Mid-South area and then finally folding up as we get into around 
rush hour Tuesday morning, finishing up rush hour time, cloudy skies, windy conditions, and the potential again of some snow showers out there. But right now, I will tell you, uh, kids and teachers do not get overexcited about the possibility of a snow day with this because right about now as we go from Monday into around Tuesday there's a possibility of some snow showers taking place but again right now we're just not looking at a lot of anything in the way of accumulation a dusting if that and again we're going to be seeing the possibility of less in the way of precipitation if we start getting more moisture up this direction we might see more in the way of possible activity coming on up through here so again maybe the potential of a dusting of snow for parts of the mid-south area not everybody's going to see flurries out there or even any accumulation but that potential is still there such as it is this is not exactly what you would call a blizzard situation but it's the best one that we've been able to see uh, across the area so far from the course of the last couple of days stay tuned fluid situation as always we'll keep you updated on that now for the holiday on monday volunteers are going to need to make certain for outdoor activities dressing in layers making certain that you've got again enough to bundle up with with those breezes out there they won't be again gusty but they will be noticeable throughout the day so if you've got plans outdoors with temperatures like this and winds like this you're talking about wind chills easily into the 20s and if they gust any higher than that we could be looking at wind chills throughout the day into the teens so we're talking about some very cold weather heading our direction as we get into Monday. So if you're heading out to make the Mid-South a better place by volunteering for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, again, please be prepared for some very cold weather out there. We'll keep you updated on that as we go throughout the rest of the forecast. All right, so right now, Kansas City, Missouri from our sister CBS station, KCTV5, Arrowhead Stadium, the loudest NFL venue in the sports, room, sports realm. Uh, got the lights on, preps going on for tomorrow, 27 degrees, which is actually as warm as it's been in parts of Kansas City with that Arctic air moving on through and mostly clear skies going on. Low temperatures tonight dropping into the teens. High temperatures tomorrow. High temperatures in Kansas City on Sunday with sunshine mostly. They'll be back in the lower 20s. Combine that with a pretty stiff northwesterly wind at about 10 miles per hour plus. And going to be seeing again some wind chills in the Arrowhead Stadium area tomorrow back in the single digits to just into the teens. So if you're planning on catching a late flight to Kansas City or heading up that direction for the game, again, that's at 2.05 tomorrow afternoon. You could watch that right here on News Channel 3. It is going to be frigid up that direction and looking again at some pretty chilly numbers out there for the contest itself. So anybody going to the game, get ready. Hope you got, again, the possibility to get some hot chocolate or something because it is going to be frigid in Kansas City tomorrow, so please keep that in mind. Again, going to be seeing some pretty cold numbers up there as the Titans take on the Chiefs for the AFC Championship. All right, one more look at the forecast before we round things off for tonight, and again, apologies for the uh, connection issues. Didn't anticipate that for tonight, so hopefully everybody's been able to uh, catch up to date with the forecast without getting too much of anything uh, into and around the area for tonight. Into tomorrow, again, we're going to be showing the possibility of some clearing skies out there. We might see a few clouds into and around the area of early tomorrow morning, but beyond that, really just not seeing too much of anything out there in the way of major problems. Much of what we're going to be seeing into the area, again, we'll be looking for temperatures just about to around freezing or so and looking again at plenty of sunshine into the Mid-South as we go into tomorrow afternoon. So not seeing a lot of activity out there uh, when it comes to anything involving uh, very cold weather like Kansas City is getting, but at least it is going to be on the chilly side. Kimberly Upchurch, when's it going to snow? Tuesday morning at best for right now. One vote for snow from Debbie Hilton from Brighton. Millington getting cold up there. Robert Brown, thank you very much for that. Scotty Grace just not going to have a cold winter. It has been very mild around here. We have not seen a lot of very cold, bitterly cold temperatures out there. Uh, all things considered, it has been very mild across the Mid-South area. So again, thanks uh, to everybody for checking in and keeping an eye on what's going on with the weather uh, out there for tonight. Going into the forecast, again, if you can't get an update on air, you can always get it online. Check out our forecast available at WREG.com. And of course, you can check out my Your Environment page, also on the weather page, keeping you updated on things involving climate change 
and links to places like the United Nations Environmental Program and the United Nations F Framework on Climate Change and, of course, the Climate Change Link of the Day. If you'd like to know more about what's going on out there so you can get involved and find out more about how to keep care of our planet, it's all available on our weather page at wreg.com slash weather. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Into tonight, we'll have updates on your forecast on News Channel 3 at 10. And, of course, join me bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak starting at 6. We'll keep you updated on Sunday's weather and take another look at what's going on in Kansas City for the AFC Championship and another look at the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday schedule and see if the weather improves a little bit as we go into the next couple of days. Updates, again, all kinds of things available at WREG.com slash weather. Questions, concerns, ideas, complaints, if you absolutely must, drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com and would love to hear from you there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us tonight and stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend on air and online for further updates.